and circumstance is the traditional graduation tomb. Lloyd, what does pomp and circumstance mean? <laughs> I always enjoyed graduations. That was partially because for the whole 26 years I was in the classroom over at Eastmont High School, I was supposed to help the senior speakers, the graduation speakers, prepare their speeches. The tune, Pomp, pomp and Circumstance, you, you're exactly right. I mean, that's the, that kicks off the show. You know, it's real at that point. You hear that song and everybody comes marching in and most of them can walk okay. <laughs> and most of them don't have eggs in the trunk of the car, they have cakes. But nonetheless, <laughs> what I liked about graduation graduation speeches was that every year, the, typically the kids who are valedictorian, salutatorian, sometimes there are three or four of them, are not necessarily very good speakers. In fact, very frequently they are people who do not want to get up and give a speech at all. And when they discover there might be 3,000 people sitting out there in the crowd, they sometimes get really excited. <laughs> excited to the point where they might fall down or something. So a lot of getting them ready for the speech is not helping them prepare a speech, because some of those kids could do that in their sleep. It's just getting them so they can get up and do it without looking like they're going to die. So the meaning of pomp and circumstance, circumstance, I don't know. I always liked the tune, though, because it meant another whole mob of kids with Vietnam in the real world.